the second reaction for acids and bases is uh, let's write down reaction two. Now this reaction has uh, uh, let's write down the reaction. It's uh, if an acid reacts with a base, it's going to produce salt and a water molecule. So this sums up the reaction. Now, and this applies to all acids and bases. So let's say if we have an acid, uh, we can take hydrochloric acid and it's reacting with a base which is NaOH, sodium hydroxide. So all metal hydroxides are bases. The product of this reaction is going to be, it's going to be uh, a salt. And remember a salt is just replace the H in the acid with the metal cation. In this case, it's going to be Na. Cl plus there's going to be a water molecule. So this is one example. Let's take another example. For example, if you take uh, copper oxide, it's another metal oxide which is a base and it's going to react with let's say nitric acid HNO3. Now again the salt in this case is going to be, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to replace uh, the H in the acid with the metal cation which in this case is copper plus 2 and since it's plus 2 and NO3 is minus 1 there should be 2 NO3 nitrate ions to balance out the charges plus there's going to be a water molecule and this would be uh, I've balanced out the charges so this would then be written as uh, you'll have copper oxide plus H NO3 which will give you CuNO3 and there would be two of them the charges will cancel out that would be copper nitrate plus a water molecule and we need to balance everything since there are two nitrates over there's going to be two HO3 and I think the rest of the equation is balanced similarly we have uh, take another base uh, for example if I have NH4OH now that's ammonium hydroxide that's also a base and let's react it with H3PO4 which is phosphoric acid. Now in this case uh, the salt is going to be you'll have uh, PO4 minus 3 which is the phosphate ion. The H is going to be replaced by the cation which is NH4 plus 1 in this case. So it's going to be replaced by NH4 plus 1 and to balance out the charges there should be 3 NH4 plus 1 so that's going to give you a plus 3 charge over here and the charges will cancel out and plus there's going to be a water molecule so let's rewrite a balanced equation for this reaction the balanced equation for this reaction is going to be it's going to be NH4 OH plus H3PO4 plus there's going to be NH4 and there would be three of these ammonium ions NH4 3 and PO4 plus H2O and uh, we need to balance this equation there should be three uh, since there are three NH4s over here three NH4 OH and there's uh, one H3 PO4 and the last thing that we need to do now is uh, we need to balance everything how many oxygens do we have we have four oxygens over here and we have three seven oxygens so seven oxygen so there should be seven h2o mo h2o molecules but it's uh seven is probably not the right number three three so there's going to be the four over here the four oxygens over here and there are three oxygens over here so there are four oxygen there should be three so it's going to be three h2o now this is a balance equation similarly let's do another uh, reaction let's come up with something else let's uh, ammonia was also a base and remember when ammonia is aqueous it's also going to act as a base and it's going to react with uh, let's say H2 SO4 this is one reaction which is slightly different some a different ammonia has a slightly different reaction and the only difference is it's not going to produce a water molecule so it's the rea the answer for this reaction is going to be it's going to be NH4 and there would be two of those and a sulfate so that would be the reaction in this case and there should be there should be two ammonia 
ammonia molecules in this case. We'll uh, we'll study the reactions of ammonia later on. Uh, uh, we'll study these uh, these reactions separately. So I'll make a make another video where we'll only focus on ammonia. But let's move on and uh, do a few more reactions of acids and bases. Uh, let's take another uh, base, MgOH2, that's magnesium hydroxide, that's a base. And let's take an acid, for example, let's take H2CO3. In this case, the uh, acid base reaction, the salt is going to be, Mg is going to replace H over here, in the, so it's going to be Mg. And Mg is plus 2 and CO3 is minus 2. So the charges are already balanced. Plus there's going to be a water molecule. And I hope the equation is already balanced. It's, uh, there should be two H2Os. Uh, finally, we move on to organic reactions of organic acids. Now when you have uh, organic acids, I already told you that the H that is lost when you're dealing with an organic acid, it's uh, an organic acid will look like this. It will always have the COH and something attached to it. And when it breaks down, the H that it loses is the one that is right at the end. It is this H that is lost. So when we make a salt, we're going to replace this H and not deal with any other H's or hydrogens. So let's uh, take the example. This is one uh, organic acid and it's reacted with uh, say NaOH. And if we reacted with NaOH, a salt is going to be produced. The salt is going to be it's CH3COO minus one. The H in the acid is going to be replaced by the cation, which is Na in this case. So it's going to be Na plus one attached over here plus there's going to be a water molecule formed and the charges will cancel out so we can write this uh, reaction without the charges as well. Similarly, if we have something else, for example, if we have CH3COOH uh, reacting with, let's say, calcium hydroxide, which is also a base. So the reaction in this case is going to be this H is going to be replaced, CH3COO minus one by CA plus two, but the charges are not canceling out. So there should be two of these and a water molecule.